What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to apologize for not making two videos last week. I didn't make one Thursday because I was so piled up with studying for my test. That was on Thursday, and on Friday, I was doing the stuff that I was supposed to do prior to that. But I was just so piled up with so much stuff. I wasn't able to get to it. I'm sorry about that. Another announcement is I am selling this shirt still. I didn't forget about them. I've actually, this is one of the orders that I'm about to ship out, well, tomorrow. And... They are going for $20 for the short sleeves and $25 for the long sleeves. If you are interested in them, let me know. Either email me, leave a comment down below, or hit me up to Instagram or Twitter. Either one works. Since this is one of the 10 that I'm selling, there are nine left, obviously, so let me know before they're gone. Anyways, moving on with today's video, we do continue with the Copper Drop series. And actually, I'm sorry if I look really tired or I sound really like loads because everybody's sleeping. Again, I've been busy all day, so this is the only chance I got to record, and I kind of just woke up from my nap, so. Moving on with the first shoe, we do have Adidas City Sock collaboration with White Mountaineering. And I'm not too familiar who these people are, but the shoe is actually looks pretty nice. I like the new little like plastic they're putting around the shoe. I feel like it gives more rigidity to the shoe, and not only that, but on this one in particular, it does give more life to the shoe because as you guys may know, the City Sock is a really dead shoe. It's just literally a prime knit up to your ankles. And it's really plain. So this shoe does have a lot more things going on with it. But I really don't like the City Sock series. So to be honest, I'm probably just going to give this a drop. But for those of you that do want to cop it, this shoe does come out October 27th at a price of $200. So that's probably another downfall too. It's a little expensive shoe. But if you guys like it, then why not? Moving on to the next shoe, we do have the Nike SB Dunk High in the gray box colorway. And these shoes do release on October 29th for a price of 110, which isn't bad. It's actually a really good price for shoes nowadays. And this shoe is inspired supposedly by the gray box, I'm assuming. I'm not too sure why it has green in it, but obviously it's a gray because it's called a gray box. I'm not too familiar with the gray box though. I never seen it. I probably have, but it doesn't come to my mind right now. But I do like the color scheme. Kind of, it's like you have a gray and then you have a gum sole bottom, which makes the shoe pop. The green I'm not really feeling, but it's just, you can't cheat it now, so that's what you get. And if you guys know me, I'm not really much of a SB Dunk or any like really big shoe guy just because they don't look good on my feet and I don't like the way they look. So for me, this shoe will be a drop. Moving into the last shoe, we do have the Air Jordan 4 Premium in the wheat colorway. And this shoe is actually pretty dope. I like the way it looks. I love the color tan. If you guys really know me, I love the color tan on any shoe. I also like this shoe because you can basically wear it with anything. Tan can be worn with anything, especially when it's on your feet. You can throw on a white tee and like some black shorts and it'll, the shoes will pop and your whole outfit will pop really. The only problem I have with this shoe is that it's leather, literally interior and exterior. So I'm pretty sure the leather interior like of the shoe will get uncomfortable. And also if your feet sweat, which they all do, so nobody can hide the fact about that. The leather will start to like smell bad as well. Not only that, but then the shoe will start to form. Like, it won't keep its shape. I don't think it will, in my opinion. So, for a $400 shoe, I don't think it's worth it. And this shoe does release on October 29th, which is Saturday, like every other Jordan that do releases. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to give it a drop just because it's such a high-priced sneaker. Like, $400 is a lot to bust on a pair of sneakers. Honestly, if I had the money to blow, yeah, I would do it because there's only 9,000 pairs. It'd be pretty cool to have this in your collection, and it's a shoe that nobody else really has. But the way I see it is, the shoes I don't have now will be the shoes I'll have in the future because that's when I'll be able to afford it. Thank you guys for watching this week's video of Copper Drop. Let me know in the comments down below what shoes you guys are copying. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you stay woke. RCP sign out. Peace.